Baseball News Club here, September 3rd Subway Series. Tribute to Tom Seaver before the game started. Great player, great Hall of Famer. And if you would have told me before the season started, Luke Voigt would be tied for the lead in home runs in September and not Stanton or Judge, I would have thought you were crazy. And now another thing about Luke, he's having a fabulous season, but there's something about a stance that reminds me of a famous player. I just can't figure it out. But anyhow, the Yankees put together a four-run rally in the top of the second. Here's Luke with a two-run double to left. Put the Yankees up 4 nothing, and might as well put his name in the MVP hat. And then the Mets scratch together some runs and tied it in the bottom of the fourth. Here's Jeff McNeil, and they have the shift on him, but he goes opposite field, ties it at 4-4. Then the Yankees rally late. Top seventh, Ursula singles the left. Hick scores, makes it 5-4. Then Gardner doubles to right. Ford scores, making a 6-4. Now this is marked as a double, but I think it should have been put down in the air. Let me know in the comments. Polar Bear does a ole. And then top of the eighth, Hicks singles LeMay who scores Yankees up 7-4 now bottom and ninth Mets down by one Yankees of course pulling Chapman only three innings pitch because he was out due to COVID so he's kind of still in summer camp mode now Chapman got in some hot water this week by throwing out a Tampa Bay player he got three game suspension he's currently appealing that and Hamilton comes in and runs for the Mets McNeil at first and he takes off and steals on Chapman they call a Bach on Chapman now, the home plate umpire called Bach on this. I reviewed it. It kind of looks like it comes home, but it kind of looks like a proper throw to first. So let me know in the comments if this is a ticky-tack call. And then Hamilton gets caught at third, stealing. Now, Baseball 101, you don't make the first or third out at third base. It's just common knowledge. So a really poor play by Hamilton. He was the potential tie and run. So now it leaves J.D. Davis at the plate as the tie and run. Three, two, bomb. Crushes a home run. Ties the game up at seven against Chapman. Now bottom of 10, Polar Bear at the plate. Oh man, summertime. I see sounds so good right now. Now Polar Bear's at the plate. Umpires call timeout and they go to the mound. Uh, Breu is wearing somebody's sock. I'm kidding. He's wearing some type of warm-up uh, sleeve and he has to put it away. He ends up having to give it to a second baseman. So Polar Bear's at the plate. Three, two, boom. Two run, walk-off home run. Mets win 9-7. Now, this is a much-needed win for the Mets who are trying to stay on playoff contention. This is a much-needed win for the Yankees, too, but they're still in the playoff contention, so it doesn't Im impact them as much. This ties the Subway Series, and this is the last game between these two teams this season. And finally, one last look. Kind of reminds me of the natural, but look at the water just flying off the bat. Great home run by Polar Bear. Thank you for watching Baseball News Club.